Welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and today I'm going to show you how to copy and paste text from your web browser into Word, Microsoft Word. Whatever version, it doesn't matter, it works all the same. So if you have an old Word like uh, maybe Microsoft Office uh, Word 2007, 2010, 2013, Office 365, whatever version, it always works. So it's uh, interesting for that and it's always the same um, way of doing so whether uh, you're using uh, Google Chrome uh, Firefox Internet Explorer there's no difference uh, you can do the same maneuver and it works with every browser so um, you know sometimes we're going on the web and we want to take a paragraph or maybe a full text but we don't want to save the full page uh, saving a full web page is not always practical and useful so sometimes you just want to pick part of a text and then copy and paste it into your uh, word processor, Microsoft Word. So how you do that is quite easy. You just, first of all, open your web browser, go into that article or that place where you, you want to copy or paste. So for example, here I'll go into news. I'll um, choose anything here. So I'll uh, click. Uh, an article for example here uh, 12 predictions for future of programming here it goes so you got this article here and I'm like oh I, I'm interested I want to keep this article that I see right here so how do you do that first of all you need to do what we call a copy how do you copy just position your mouse pointer on the upper left of your text you have to be close to the top of the text but not too high you don't want to have anything other than just the text for example so I'll go on the upper left just you know make sure that you uh, start from the first line of the paragraph you'll click the left mouse button and hold it that's very important you have to hold it and then move your mouse over the text you'll see it's getting highlighted in blue so just highlight the text don't go too far because, for example, if I go to the right too far, you see that all of the page is getting, and I don't want to have that text on the right side there. So just keep it to the minimum space possible. Once you see that your text is all highlighted, you can release the left mouse button. Now, what do you have to do? Move your mouse pointer right over that highlighted text. It's very important. If you right click somewhere else, you will have um, basically removed the highlight so you'll have to start over so make sure that your mouse pointer is on the highlighted text then click the right mouse button there you will see search copy or share click copy another very quick way to do it if you are into um, keyboard shortcuts you can press Control C C is for copy. So Control C is the um, keyboard shortcut way of actually making a copy. Okay, now you've done with this part, uh, and this is one of the basically when the people actually master the highlighting of a text, the biggest problem they have afterward is understanding. Okay, but I click copy, nothing happens. What's happening? Well, because the computer doesn't know what you want to do with that text. It's waiting for you to tell uh, really you know tell it where you want to drop it so now we want to drop it in Microsoft Word so what do you do you open your browser your your browser sorry your word processor so you click on the icon that you have you can close this page uh, once you've done that so you can click on the icon if you have a desktop icon or uh, just go into your search uh, in the charms bar on the right side of the screen get yourself your word so here's Microsoft Word 2010 in my case uh, but whatever version you have is the same for everybody now you can go somewhere into the blank page right click and when you right click you'll have the paste option and that's where you'll actually want to paste so here it's in French I'm sorry about that but there's the paste option and uh, you can also use that little 
shortcut that I told you. So now you've copied, you can also use control V, meaning that it's going to also paste. Control V means paste. Uh, in Word, there's also uh, options of pasting on the upper left side. You see there's paste on the left side of the screen in the top uh, bar of the um, toolbar of Microsoft Word. So you can click that also right there, paste. So control C, control V or right click, copy, and then go into your text. You can click on the upper left side of your uh, office or just right click somewhere on the screen where it's going to ask you where you want to. Uh, copy actually and then you'll paste here or you can click the paste button right there on the left side and it's going to paste the text also. Uh, it depends on the office version that you have here. But it's as easy as that and it enables you to keep a uh, text that you've seen on the web or a paragraph that you might want to keep that you found interesting. And then, well, you just, you know, record it so you can go into file and then save as um, and save it to your computer uh, somewhere uh, as you want. So it's easy as that and it works with every browser. So even if I'm in, uh, for example, I'll load here uh, Chrome. If I uh, go into a Chrome um, and I click an article, you'll see that I can also, I'll skip this ad, click the text the same way and go over it. It always highlights in the same manner. And all you have to do is then right click or do control C to copy and then paste it somewhere else. So it works in all the browsers uh, the same way, basically. Now, uh, two things that you may be careful, some pages, you see this one, the structure of this one makes me uh, choose the left side uh, right here, which I didn't want actually. So um, basically the best way to deal with that is to erase it once you're in your uh, Microsoft Word. You can remove that part. Uh, another thing that can happen, some websites actually disable uh, copy-paste. So if you go to a website and it doesn't do anything when you right-click or it doesn't do anything when you do a control C, it's because the copy-paste has been disabled in the browser. A lot of pages do that because texts that you see here are all most of the time have a copyright. It means that somebody owns the rights to those. And a lot of websites to prevent you from copying it will actually um, prevent you from doing a copy and a paste. It happens uh, very often on websites. So uh, hope you enjoy our videos. If you do, please subscribe to our channel. You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have uh, any comments or questions, maybe a video or a feature of Windows that you'd like us to talk about, why not ask away and we'll try to put that video online. And hopefully you enjoy our videos and we'll come back to the official Windows 8. Lots of videos if you're learning uh, your new Windows 8 machine or want to learn more on your uh, computer or maybe your future computer and you're a little scared, why not take a look through the videos to uh, learn more on how to use Windows 8 to the max. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.